happy Monday, first of all. <laughs> it is. It's a, any money I spend with Carrie Bechet is a happy Monday. Yeah. Um, let's start with you, Ben David. Congratulations, your first directorial debut. How does it feel? It feels great. I mean, the issue was because of, I don't know if you've heard of this thing called COVID or the plague that's happened, that our plan for this movie got derailed by, you know, life. <laughs> Because we were supposed to premiere last April, April 20th at Tribeca. And, you know, we were, had a lot of things were going on. So I'm really excited that it's finally coming out after like all the hard work everyone put into it, especially Carrie, uh, <laughs> mostly Carrie. Everyone else's hard work is like almost as good, but not as good. I'm just really amped because I'm really proud of the movie, proud of Carrie's performance and proud of, you know, I'm sort of Joel McHale. He's all right. I'm mainly just saying that because I hope he sees this and gets mad at me. I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm going to stop talking. Well, then this this case, take it over, Carrie. The, the big major actress here that did oh, hard sorry. work. <laughs> um, you know, about this being Ben David's first movie, um, it's uh, not an easy sell. Um, you know, a guy who's never made a movie before um, with there's like all these sex scenes in the movie. It's, um, I've been calling it a sex comedy thriller. So, you know, Ben David is... Uh, like, come be in my movie, you'll be sexy, it'll be funny, it'll be scary. And, um, you know, you just really have to trust somebody um, under those circumstances. And thank goodness I did, because the movie, I think, really is sexy and funny and scary and um, super bonkers, crazy, weird. And I'm so uh, glad that he talked me into it. Yes, yeah, I mean, he talked quite a few. There's two ways that an actor will agree to be in a first movie. Either they trust the director or they lost a bet. And I won't say which one was Carrie, um, but it's because she trusted me. That's what it is. I am also incidentally a terrible poker player, so. Yeah, that's usually my casting process is you just play poker against all your favorite actors and then the ones who lose star in the movie. It's like I would unknown. love to see a casting process like that, actually. It's an unknown process of Hollywood. It was a secret, and I just spoiled it. So, <laughs> um, so yes, Carrie, you did have quite a few of these scenes that were, you know, had a lot of, like, physical, a bit of physical involvement. Um, which scene, after reading the script, were you looking forward to shooting? <laughs> um, physical involvement is such a nice way of saying um, all of the possibly gratuitous sex in this movie. Um, I love all the sex in the movie. I think it's really important and great. I think a lot of the sex we see in movies is um, illicit or it's, you know, extramarital affairs. And what I love about this is that all the wild sex scenes we see are between, I mean, maybe not all of them, um, but they're between a married couple who are committed to each other and love each other. And um, that to me is something we don't get to see enough. Um, so I was really, uh, really thrilled to be a part of it on, on that level. It's um, like sex for a, for a good purpose. <laughs> um, and then one of my favorite scenes, I guess, wasn't really in the movie, but it was a high speed chase that uh, Joel McHale and I went on to um, uh, exact some vigilante justice when the car we were sitting in got sideswiped by another car in the neighborhood. Ben David, do you remember this? I'm trying to forget it, but continue. Where was the scene supposed to, where, where was it supposed to go? Well, we were supposed to pull into the driveway and um, our the side view mirror got clipped by a car that was driving by and then Joel had to follow the car, chase them through the Have neighborhood. You? Had to, he, he felt to. strongly that he needed to. You know, strong feelings are important. Needless to I say, can't believe I, we finished the movie. I, yeah, I was directing a movie and suddenly Joel just drove away out of frame, which was not- I was in the car, so it could be technically kidnapping also. Look, here's the thing. You got to edit this part out. We don't need any kidnapping charges <laughs> applied to anyone in this movie. I would suggest anyone else making your first movie, tell your actors, don't drive away chasing a car, even if you feel like vigilante justice is the right approach to filmmaking. I don't, personally. So you're taking public stand against vigilante justice? 
Look, I am not here to back the Punisher. I think he's a criminal and I think he has to go down. That's my real feeling about vigilante justice right now. <laughs> um, oh, just real quick, just to wrap up. Um, this film is about, you know, kind of shows how happiness is seen like a, like a malfunction for some. What do you hope viewers take away from watching this film? Just real quick, summing it up. I'd say that um, on that level, that's a little bit more about people comparing themselves to other people and how much our happiness is contingent upon not comparing ourselves to anyone, whether it's a job or a relationship. I guess that's how I can sum that up. Carrie, what do you think? Um, I love it. I think that's great. Uh, I hope people watch it and um, have as many questions afterwards as I still do. Sounds like I did a good job. <laughs> I think you did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for your time and congratulations mm. happily. I enjoyed it. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys take care. Thank you again.